Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today I want to do a quick video review of uh, ABCS5 Proxy. I had done another, another review video about ABCS5 Proxy, but now the reason I'm doing it today again, they have added a new feature on the uh, on the uh, software on the uh, Mac on the uh, laptop uh, the software or the Mac OS software. So as usual, before you even go to the software part, you can check out their, their homepage. You can see that they offer residential proxies and the lowest goes for 0.7 dollars per GB and the other one can go for 0.04 per IP. So they sell IPs in form of uh, bandwidth and in form of IP number. So you can choose the best option for yourself. You can see the various features here, like uh, they support city level targeting. This is called geotargeting because you can you can select a city, a zip code, ISP, and even country. They support all the protocols: SOX5, HTTP, HTTPS. They also can be integrated with fingerprint browsers, simulators, and can also be used on mobile phones. And you can go through the various features, for example, the, under here, under one platform, multiple proxy resources to meet your business needs. So under residential SOX5 proxies, once you click here, you can read about the uh, various advantages like IP balance never expires, unlimited bandwidth, enterprise plan cheapest is 0.04 per IP, invalid IP returns, essential proxies, you can see all the features they offer here. Let's now go to their pricing. Under pricing here, you can see the pricing of residential SOX5 proxies, residential proxies, unlimited residential proxies, data centers, ISP proxies, and static residential proxies. So if you don't have an account, as usual, click here, create a new account. Since I already have an account, let me sign in. Let me finish this mathematics to confirm I'm not a bot. Click in. I'm in so once you are in I want to show you how to, to work on this go to the dashboard here we have two ways of uh, connections you can you see under the first dashboard what you see on your first option on the dash, dashboard you can see all your plans or your available plans for example, I only have a bandwidth of bandwidth for or the, the remaining traffic is for residential proxies. So if, if I could be having static residential proxies, I could be seeing all my available bandwidth or traffic and my number of IPs here and the expiry time. So here you can see all my account details. So you can connect. Uh, there, are, there are two ways of using this website. You can connect directly from your dashboard, but connecting through the dashboard, for example, under user password authentication, does not offer you the the luxury of doing the luxury of of choosing the city of the, the luxury of choosing the country, city, and ISP. So under proxy generator on the dashboard on the website, you can only select country like North America, let's say. Once you choose, like say, America, they're going to give you a random state and city and ISP if you click this option. If you click city and state, they're going to give you a random uh, state, city, and ISP. So, and also you can set the rotation time. You can say either rotation or sticky. Sticky, you can set the IP rotation to rotate up to 1 to 120 minutes. But the best option to use ABC S5 proxy, I repeat again. For those people who use, uh, want geotargeting enabled IPs, it's better to use on their, on their what, on their uh, software. So under overview here, it's just showing you the various brands and their pricing. For example, this one, essential proxy. You can see the product review pricing. Yeah, the pricing just stated here. If you go through here, you're going to see the pricing of each particular package and this package are the ones which are uh, shown here so you can go through the overview part you can see all the pricings listed there 
So let me show you how to connect. So even before showing you how to connect, let me show you how to load your account. So if you're interested in any plan, just come to the dashboard, click on the plan, click buy on the plan that you want. For example, if I want residential proxies plan, just click buy. It will take you to the overview page of that particular plan. And you can click uh, order now. So it should give you, you see, very easy. It just shows you the various options to, to buy. You can buy using cryptocurrency, MasterCard. They have added also PayPal for payment. So just choose the best option for yourself. If you have a cap on code, just put it here and you get a, a discount. So let's now try to. So for the software, it uses residential SOX5 proxies. This is the, this is the software. The stations of five proxies are the ones which are mostly used on their software. And you can find in form of IPs. You can see the minimum about the minimum to the minimum plan is $45. It goes for $0.22. dollars. Yeah. This is where you get the this is where you get what? The residential software proxy to use on your software. So for now, let's see where to download their software. Remember, these ones can be used for various ways. Let's click start now. Comes back to the same dashboard. So, I have seen what I am looking for. Now, after let's say you have bought the residential SOX5 proxies, Scroll down up to, to the tools sections here and you can download software for the Windows, Mac, Linux or Android. So they also have an Android manager. This is interesting. Let me see what it is. Wow. So they have a tool for extracting ABC proxies to use on your mobile device. Wow, this is very interesting. But for now, today we want to use the Windows one. And also they have a, an extension, ABC proxy extension. Instead of using uh, Omega proxy or Foxy proxy, they also have their own extension which you, can, which you can install on your Chrome or on your Firefox. Let's see the Chrome one, how it looks like. They also have a Chrome. Wow, this is interesting. This is another cool feature I've seen. You can install them directly on your Chrome browser. So just pin it here. Just open it and just click add new proxy. You can just add your, your name, the protocol, server, port, username, and password. In fact, you're going to connect, you're going to test out ABCS5 proxy using their proxy extension. Yeah, this is very good. This is a very cool feature. But now let's install the Windows. So if you now want the Windows software, this one just click windows here and it's going to download so under downloads you're going to get it here but since i already have it on my laptop i don't have to to install it again so once you install here once you download it here just click install and install it using the normal installation steps so guys today i'm going to use the windows here so since i already have it on my desktop here you can see this is my software here. Hope you can see it. This one. Let, let me put the black mode. So this is the proxy I'm using here. So I want us to do a quick connection. Remember under this proxy, you can see your residen static residential IPs. In case I had them, I could see them here. And I can use it, I can also use them from here. So without wasting time, let's do try to connect. For example, country. You can see now, this is the new feature they have added on their site. Like the one for country state city isp zip code if you check my previous video about abcs5 proxy they had no this feature of geo geo targeting so this is a very cool feature so let's say united states let's try to search united states directory usa united states let's see all these countries there all the states you see i can select uh let's say georgia 
giving C. And the city can say Atlanta is the most common. Like that. You can even select the ISP like uh, T Mobile. T Mobile USA. You see? Or the it's just perfect you can even select the zip code i want but i don't have a, a zip code in mind see all these are t-mobile isps so let's take one so if you want to connect now is the usual if you've been following up my video you know how to connect just click on click on particular ip you want like this uh click to forward to port you can select any port let's say 4001 once you forward like that, go to your forward list. And at today's list, you can see the particular, you can see the particular what? The particular IP that you have selected here. And you can check the status of that particular IP under today's list. Before even connecting, you see, the network proxy is successfully used. I can tell you that we are, we are, the proxy is, is online and it's usable. This feature is very good, Use usable feature, it is tells you it's true, online true. If they are not usable, they will all, all options will be false here. So, uh, and a favorite, here by you can make a, I can favorite this IP here, and a favorite, just right click, uh, click favorite, or you can even right click and copy the IP and port. So you can click, right click, favorite, and I can be able, sorry, delete this one. So you can see this IP you have forwarded today. If I want to use it again and again, I just put it under favorite. So every single time I want to use it again, it just come under favorite and I'll be using this particular IP. This can help you to, to maintain a static IP status on whichever site you're working on. As long as this IP is online, and you have enough bandwidth you can use it as long as you want as long as it stays online so let's say today i use this ip i put it under favorite option sorry it's already under favorite i put it under favorite option it comes to here i can use this ip as long as i want in case my billing is in form of ip every time i use it my ip will be deducted from here but if you have a traffic option, billing mode, if you have a billing mode as the, if traffic is the is your mode in the billing mode, you just be using this IP for so many days as long as you want. It has no expiry. So the bandwidth is the best option. You'll be using it as long as you want. As long as it's online, you can be using it on the same same particular site, like Prime Opinion or Free Cash without getting banned. So remember at first here, we, for, we clicked forward and we forwarded, we, forwarded our, we forwarded this IP to a particular port. Eh? So just click here forward list and you can be able to see where you forwarded IP. So just copy here. Copy here. And I'm going to, this is our public IP. So you're going to connect using this one. These are Rocco IP and port. So let's use the ABCS5 proxy extension. Let's say here, let's say test. So these are SOX5. We copy it proxy and server. You see? IP port. IP port. Like that. Then doesn't have a username and password. Ours doesn't have a username and password, so it's free. So what you do now, you save changes. Save changes, then come here and connect. Click on it and then connect. So let's disconnect and check the IP, our IP address. Let's check. Let's check our IP address location. You can see that my IP address is in Kenya, like that. So we want to see whether it's working. 
so let's now connect just come under extension here abc chrome extension proxy extension like that now we are connected let's now check our anonymity uh, whether it's changing our location the key point is check out whether they are connecting well you see we are connected i'm not 100 percent because my my device is not time is not uh, well set up but the point is they are software is working very well and it's connecting very well so for in order to achieve 100% anonymity just come under time zone on your device and set the time zone if i was using an anti-detect browser the time zone would have been set automatically by the browser so for this one to be 100% i have to set it on my device here but all in all the abcs5 proxy is working well and the new features of using their Chrome extension is just marvelous. They have an extension for Firefox and an extension for Chrome. And under their software here, they have added various features here, geotargeting features of selecting the country, state, city, ISP, and even the zip code. And remember the features of whitelisting an IP, uh, uh, the idea of make of, of making your ip a favorite here you can be able to use it as long as it's online as long as you want but remember every time you use it after 24 hours it will be deducted from your balance here but yeah but in case of you're using traffic just be continue using your traffic here in case of your connect your billing option is in form of ip after 24 hours if you if you connect again just if you have two ips four ips tomorrow you want you go to favorite and reconnect the same same ip there will be three ips that's what i mean yeah you are charged as per day as the way you use it so guys that was the small update about uh abcs5 proxy check it out try it out and give me your feedback under the comment section so thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel up to now don't forget to subscribe Hit the like button, share with your friends, and I'll be very much grateful. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.